Hey, Facebook friends and family, welcome back. So this is the official, official first video of Dave's Dishes. Uh, today we're gonna make like I promised Chili Verde. So come on over here. So here I have one pound of diced up pork. Now this is a pork shoulder that's boneless. You can use anything. Pork chops, pork roast, pork loin, pork ribs that are boneless, whatever you wanna use. Just chop it up, it doesn't matter at all. But chop it up and cube it, which is what I've done. I have three heads of garlic, they're large heads. I have one quart of tomatoes. I'm using San Marzano tomatoes out of our garden from last year. We actually uh, freeze them uh, with the juice so that we can use them year round because we grow a lot of them. And then I have a cup and a half of flour and I have some grapeseed oil. Now right here, oh and I have salt, of course, salt, that's required. Right here I have a pan that's been preheated. And you wanna get this pan really hot for this, and I have some grapeseed oil. Now I'm using grapeseed oil for this, you can use olive oil, and I'm probably using a good two and a half tablespoons. You can use olive oil or vegetable oil or lard if you wanted to. Uh, I like the grapeseed oil for this just because it's high heat and this requires high heat to do this uh, recipe. Now this recipe was taught to me by a neighbor's mother, an uh, older Spanish lady, a Mexican lady, and she taught me how to do this. Now, I call it chili verde, we use green chilies in it. Some pe people call it chili roja because it's red, but at the end this is going to turn out green. So. It's chili verde, and uh, it's awesome. So here we go. So you take your pork, we've got a really hot pan, and we just dump it in there. That's what you wanna hear. You want it to really sizzle. Now, when you put that in, you instantly wanna add salt. Now I'm gonna liberally salt this. This is a pound of pork. Pork needs salt. It really needs salt. So I'm gonna put at least about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a quarter of salt in that so that we can really get this salt in. We're not gonna add any more salt to this recipe. That is that is the salt. So that's all we're adding. Now you want what you wanna do with this, you wanna get the meat browning really nicely. So get it mixed around. See how they're getting brown? Now you don't want to, I mean, you do want it cooked, but you don't want to overcook this. You want to just make it so the pork is nice and tender. Um, it's really important to use boneless pork in this and make sure there's no bones, obviously, but still, I've had that question. Now, having said that, you could use, if you don't like pork or if you have a problem with pork, you could use chicken. Uh, you could use tofu in this. Um, you could also use, if you wanted to, beef. Uh, but that makes a totally different flavor. Chicken is the best substitute. And uh, also using maybe uh, tofu is a really good idea. Now obviously if you use tofu, I wouldn't want your pan as hot because it's tofu. So use your own judgment. Now the pork is going to get some juices off, as you see in the pan. You're going to see some juicing there. That's good. We want that. We really want to keep it going. This is a smaller pan. You can make this out of a bigger pan. You can use a pound of pork. You can use two pounds of pork. You could use a bigger pan, a smaller pan. Uh, I like my chili verde to have meat in it. Uh, there's nothing worse than like when you go to a restaurant, you get chili verde and there's like one piece of pork. You're like, seriously? So, you really gotta have the meat in there and that's my favorite part. So now, if you look, we've got this brown. I'm gonna crank this heat up as high as I can right now. I'm gonna cover it. And I'm just gonna get it really hot for a minute. Now over here, I have some water. This is very cold water. 
I had ice in it, it's melted, but I was preparing it. So um, that's really important to have really cold water for this recipe as well, because it really uh, is something that is required. So, okay, so we've got that nice and hot now. It's really going, it's really boiling, and it's simmering in its own juices. Now I'm gonna take my flour. Now this is a cup and a half of flour. We're just gonna dump it in. I'm probably gonna use just a cup right now. Well, let's see how, how it covers. What you wanna do is wanna cover your meat in it. Now, you can also use cornstarch. If you wanna use cornstarch, if you have a flour allergy, you can use cornstarch. Almond flour if you wanted. Rice flour. I don't like almond flour. Rice flour works really well though. I've used it before and it's really good. So, so eat, don't worry about how it looks. It looks gluey and whatever. That's totally the way that this is supposed to look. Add just a little bit more flour. Now you want this to be very covered. And again, you want it to be very hot. So I'm going to take this now and I'm going to cover it again. Now I've got my heat up on high. So let's wait just a second. Make sure it's right over your pan. Get me heating pads out. So I want to get it really hot at this point. This is really crucial to making this recipe, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, get it really hot. Just as hot as you possibly can. And the important part is the pan is hot. And all those juices are soaked up with the flour or the cornstarch or the whatever you use. Okay. So I can smell it. I can tell that it's super hot. And the, around the edges of the pan, the flour is kind of getting a little bit darker. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our water. This is really cold water. You want to hear that sizzle with the water. And you just use your judgment. You know, this is probably going to be... That's two quarts, so... Probably used a quart and a quarter of water on this. Now, if you're using a bigger pan, obviously, you'd probably use two quarts. Again, the meat doesn't matter how much meat you use in it. This is all gonna make our, our, uh, our gravy. Every country has their gravy. This is Mexican gravy. In Italy, pasta sauce is their gravy. So, in the United States, we have gravy. So, which is just gravy. Nothing fancy, but you want to make that go away and you want to keep stirring it and you're going to get this milky look. If you look in here, keep the camera on. If you keep it going in here, you just like that flour is just going to dissolve. It's not going to be lumpy. It's not going to have a problem. It is just going to dissolve in the water. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to cover this up. Now for chili verde, um, I want to show you something. Watch my hands here. We use chilies, of course. So I got my hands washed. Um, we use chilies. Now, we grow our own chilies, and then we roast them and peel them and freeze them. So we freeze them into a block, into a quart-sized bag. We roast them up, and for this, I just cut it off when I need it and I put the rest back in the freezer. So we like chili verde to be chili verde. You know, it's gotta be spicy and it's gotta be good. So you can use as much as you want. You can buy them at the store and roast them and peel them and do it yourself. Or you can buy the canned kind. Or, you know, if you really don't wanna use chili verde, uh, chilies in it, you could use crushed red pepper, but that's gonna change the whole flavor of it. So I would stick to some kind of a chili. So just so you know, that's what we're gonna be using in this. So it looks really good. I'm just gonna set that over here because we're not gonna add that in quite yet. At this point, I'm gonna add my garlic in. 
Now, I don't add my garlic when we're heating it up really hot because your garlic will burn. We don't want burned garlic in this. We want the garlic to bloom, but it'll bloom as it heats and it's gonna heat inside this gravy mixture. So it's just gonna heat in there and that garlic flavor is gonna come through really nice. Now this, this video is gonna be in two parts, unfortunately, because it does take a while for this to cook and to get to the right thickness that you want. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna add in my tomatoes. Now again, these are garden tomatoes that we peeled and froze, they're San Marzano's. You can use a can of crushed red pepper, red tomatoes. You can use your regular tomatoes if you wanna, you know, just peel them and put them in. Um, crushed red ones work very well. Uh, I don't cut these up or dice them up or anything. I, I cook at this and simmer it for a good hour to make sure they fall apart and your pork is just gonna be tender as all get out. So we're gonna add those in there. And at this point, we're just gonna let this go. The point is to let it cook down as much as we can. Now, I kinda do smash the tomatoes a little bit, but we don't cut them up or dice them up or anything like that. We want them to kinda pop and make their own juices themselves. I'm gonna throw in my chilies. Again, this is like, what, a cup, a cup and a quarter of chilies. I'm gonna throw those bad boys in there. And they are just gonna give great flavor to this. Throw them in and mix them in. Now at this point, guys, we're gonna end the first part of the video because this has to go and simmer. This is gonna be a good hour for it to simmer, cook down, to give it the consistency that we're gonna want. So for you, I'll be right back in part two. Uh, for me, it's gonna be an hour. So we'll see you in a minute. 